Hi everyone. Um, I hope you're doing well. I don't know for you, but um, I have the feeling that I was just a few minutes before on this stage doing the opening session, and now it's already finished. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is indeed um, the closing session of the Wikidatacon 2019. Um, we're going to stay about uh, one more hour stuck in this room before we go to more interesting things to do. I will try to keep it entertaining though. Um, let's have a look. First of all, I would like to uh, try to uh, make a little summary of what I um, take from the conference, the highlights that I've been noticing or that people have been sharing with me or that I, can, I could take from the notes and documentation. Um, don't expect it to be comprehensive and getting into details because that would need more than 20 minutes, definitely. But I will, I will try to give you some, some, some interesting um, anecdotes and things. Um, after that, we're going to go actually a bit more into details um, about the workshop that happened yesterday that was about um, envisioning uh, Wikidata in the future because we think that it's important that you can uh, learn a bit more what uh, happened during this workshop. Uh, so I will let my colleague uh, Raya um, explain to you uh, what are the outcomes of the workshop. Um, then I will have a bit more practical information about, especially about what's happening tonight because the conference is not entirely over, although this is the closing session. We're still going to gather tonight in a very nice venue, so we'll um, make sure that you have all the information to um, access it. And uh, of course, we will go through the usual uh, round of uh, thank you because there is actually a lot and a lot of people to thank. Um, and maybe at the end, a few announcements. Let's see. Let's get started. So, um, <laughs> you consented. <laughs> All right. So. One of the things that I really find uh, awesome during uh, this kind of conferences is um, the fact that it's a place where people gather and people who are mostly working online uh, most of the time are actually meeting each other. And my favorite thing that I spot at this conference are actually when two people are looking at each other's badge and being like, oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> awesome. Let's talk about this thing we've been discussing on Wiki forever. And that's been happening once again a lot at this conference, and that always makes me very happy. <clears throat> um, but we also noticed that um, some uh, people from institutions, for example, took the opportunity of this conference uh, to meet and to uh, discuss about uh, various uh, topics that they wanted to discuss about, uh, maybe to start some new projects together, and that of course makes us very, very happy because that was also one of the goals of this conference, to help you networking and exchanging and uh, meeting new contacts for future collaborations. Um, we also um, learn more from um, how some organizations are reusing Wikidata's data, uh, both the data and um, also the software, um, and um, how also they can uh, contribute back to the community and to the content. Um, that's very important to us, so we're very happy that we could learn a bit more about this. Um, and in general, um, I always enjoy very much that people take some time to share knowledge with others. And we had various workshops or just very informal discussion where people could explain to others some tool that they use. Um, for example, we had a Sparkle workshop. We had a meetup about how to build maps based on Wikidata. This is just two examples out of many. I really, really enjoy the fact that people are keen to share what they know and not just to keep it for, them, from their, for themselves. So it's really awesome. And um, of course, during the conference, um, we worked on all kinds of projects. Uh, so there were a lot of spontaneous gatherings in this um, spontaneous um, uh, self-organized uh, sessions, um, a lot of very specific uh, meetups around specific projects. We got, for example, uh, stuff about uh, schemas, chemical compounds, uh, some of all paintings and so on. I also learned the difference between Wikispore and Wikisprout. Uh, <laughs> do you know the difference? Uh, if not, go and have a look. Um, and um, 
What's also very interesting is that we had various meetups about uh, how to connect Wikidata to other Wikimedia projects. So we had things about the Wikidata powered uh, info boxes uh, on Wikipedia, on Commons, and also on other projects. Um, we had, uh, if I remember correctly, a Wikisource meetup, and we had, of course, uh, various discussions about the very, very exciting uh, structured data on Commons project. Speaking about that, um, there was also a challenge running uh, with uh, the ESA tool uh, to add structured data on uh, pictures related to Berlin. Um, and I heard that the results of this challenge will be announced um, at the end of this um, closing session around 6 o'clock on uh, Telegram, I think. So stay tuned. So languages, um, it was um, the, one of the main topics of this conference. So of course, a lot of sessions and discussions um, took place around languages. We learned, for example, more about how um, underserved languages communities can use Wikidata for their specific needs, and also how maybe we can improve um, the Wikidata, the processes of uh, Wikidata, um, to make sure that we engage even more people and even more um, of these communities. Um, of course, we discussed a lot about uh, lexicographical data on Wikidata and um, more generally how collecting and describing words can help building technological solutions to support endangered languages. So plenty of very interesting topics on that regard. Um, the second uh, main topic of the conference was Wikibase. So, at Wikimedia Germany, over the past year, we noticed that um, the interest um, in Wikibase was growing and growing, and I think that we can say for sure that Wikibase is the new thing uh, that's going on and everyone is talking about. So it was really amazing to see um, very various and different uh, people and organizations and uh, learn about how they use Wikibase um, and adapt it uh, to their own needs. Uh, from libraries to Illuminatis, and uh, also in the fields of biology, digital and non-digital art, and so on and so on. Um, it was really, really great to have such um, an overview of all the projects running with Wikibase. We also um, questioned a bit the idea of a Wikibase community. Is there even one? Does that even exist? If so, how can we um, increase it? How can we strengthen it? Um, and how can we onboard even more people in this Wikibase um, ecosystem? Um, so what was very great during the meetup is that this topic was discussed and already several ideas um, for actions were mentioned. So I'm pretty sure that over the next weeks, months and so on, um, some of the ideas will be, uh, will be done. And uh, yeah, we can connect even more people and help them uh, yeah, using Wikibase. One thing that I really, really enjoy about um, this kind of events, and especially in the Wikidata community, is all of this uh, excitement uh, that people have around their project and all of the appreciation that they share with each other. So for example, we could see both of them um, during the sessions yesterday evening, during the birthday present demo, and during the award ceremony. It was really, really awesome to see. Um, we saw plenty of uh, new tools that were created to fulfill new needs maybe that emerged during the previous months or old needs that were still waiting for be solved somehow. And that really shows how both the Wikidata and the Wikibase community uh, are resourceful and autonomous and when they see a problem they want to solve it and not only for themselves but actually share the solution that they found to everyone so they can also share their own problem. Um, and uh, I really like the enthusiasm that we have during these events. Uh, and because people are all together, um, I heard some discussions like, oh yeah, we could do this tool. Yeah, maybe we could do it over the weekend. What? No, wait, I can do it during the break. Oh, fine, let's do it. <laughs> it was really, really awesome. <laughs> and generally, I really enjoyed that uh, people were very uh, cheerful and praising each other for the work that, they, that they've been doing um, and all the efforts that they put in their projects. And I really think that um, this is an awesome uh, culture to have um, in a community. But um, 
What I also liked is that uh, during this conference we also tried to address some of the problems and we tried to reflect a bit on the current state of the data, of the community, of the processes um, and uh, try to find what the issues are and also um, some uh, ideas for solutions. So we talked about data quality, of course. Uh, we discussed about what uh, are the different ways to measure it and what are the existing and future features that can help improving data quality. We had some very interesting um, thoughts and reflections about how we can improve um, how we process and organize the data. Because in the same time, we want to describe even better the diversity of the world. We want to strengthen our uh, ontologies, the way we organize the data and how we classify the data. Um, but we also want to acknowledge that um, the way we uh, represent the world on Wikidata um, can be harmful by reinforcing some oppression systems. And we try to highlight um, what are the problems and uh, what needs to be improved. <laughs> And finally, um, I want to thank you a thousand times for uh, the super great atmosphere that we had here. Um, going to a Wikidata event um, in general um, feels always super great, but the Wikidata Con, this year's Wikidata Con is special in the sense that it was, at the same time, some kind of a family meeting feeling where you meet some faces that maybe you see only once a year, but you're super happy to see them. And also, um, in the same time, uh, you see and you meet plenty of people that you didn't know before, and uh, you get to know them, you get to know the projects they're working on, and so on. Um, so I hope that um, each of you uh, both met some people that you already knew and uh, got in touch with some new people. I really enjoy um, seeing uh, the little ritual from the rituals from the Wikidata community going on. I'm thinking about this uh, birthday a party, birthday present thing. Of course, um, the cuteness association, the plushies that are here having their own little meetup. A small, very small thing like the nail polish, all this kind of stuff. It looks kind of inside jokey, nerdy, but it's, it's been actually shared with all of you. And in the same time, uh, I see every one of you making the efforts of um, including more people, because that was the case at this conference. We also had people who were not yet part of the Wikidata community, and I actually hope that they feel a bit more like inside the community right now. And uh, in general, um, embracing all the diversity of this Wikidata plus Wikibase ecosystem. From an organization team perspective, um, I want to thank you for, um, how to say this, letting us the space to actually experiment on things. Uh, some of you may be super used to uh, Wikimedia events or conferences in general, and I really appreciated the fact that you were su always super positive when we tried some new things, when something didn't work exactly as expected. Um, you've been super, yeah, super understanding and, and positive, so I really, really love that. And in general, uh, I think, and I also heard from many, many of you that uh, people here have been very, very kind and helpful and supportive and uh, super laid back. Uh, so I wanted to thank you for that. So I think that was it for a very short uh, wrap up of what happened during the conference. If you want to know more, if you want to get more into details, you can definitely go and watch the documentation, uh, watch the videos of the sessions, look at the documentation and so on. I will um, show you the link later. But for now, um, I'm going to welcome uh, Raya, who's going to present a bit um, what happened during this workshop about the future of Wikidata. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. Um, and welcome everyone. So you saw that workshop probably in the program yesterday at 4 p.m. Uh, it was called Envisioning Wikidata in the Future and Creating Idea Concepts in an Interactive Session. And it was really interactive. You can see the agenda here. Uh, so it was a lot about brainstorming, idea generation, and then also prototyping. And I would like to present what came out of that. 
So um, the focus and the brainstorming question that we had was how can we support the creation of more diverse and underrepresented knowledge? Uh, we have talked about that a lot in this conference and this is also why we, we took that topic also from Wikimedia Germany. We are looking into that, but of course we are very interested uh, what the community, uh, what their ideas and from all of you what the ideas would be. So there were 14 participants uh, in four groups uh, working on the different uh, yeah, items of the agenda that you have seen. So there were some silent brainstorming sessions, there were some, some sharing, clustering, and then in the end there was the prototyping. These are some of the ideas, uh, so just that you get an impression that uh, there's a lot. So the idea was that everybody writes down everything that comes to their mind, and then for the prototyping, to prototype the favorite idea. Uh, we saw uh, several things that were related to UI, UX things, so um, thinking that it probably would help to uh, make uh, the user experience easier, so that would also help others to, to get into that. Um, but we're also seeing that it was about, yeah, structural issues that were there and um, also looking at how to include um, oral citations or videos so, so there were several ideas into different directions. Then in the end, the four groups presented their prototypes and uh, I have now the difficult task to uh, yeah, tell all of you what they have represented and I hope I do that correctly. If not, please comment in the, in the notes of this session. Um, so yeah, this is what, what I at least took from it and uh, hopefully together with Jan discuss that and hope that this fits. So uh, we had the idea that, uh, or that one of the groups had the idea um, that there should be um, diverse topic challenges and uh, also including leaderboards. So the idea is that um, there could be challenges that draw the attention from other people. So for example, fashion data is probably not so much represented at Wikidata at the moment, um, so there could be a, a challenge to, to add more fashion designers, for example. Um, and then that could be also combined with a leaderboard that, um, yes, has a bit of a challenging thing and who's the competitive who's the competitor here, but on the other hand also to see who's interested in that topic and that could also support the, the networking um, and that people know ah, there's this person interested in that topic so let's, let's work on this, these things together and improve on that. So yeah, we, we got from that that this is really a yeah, gamification idea uh, and how we can, we can make these things that we see in other gaming or social, um, social networking things that we could maybe include this. Uh, the, another idea was um, the, an easy creation of a wiki-based instance and ontology for underrepresented knowledge uh, so that people could create a new wiki-based instance in the community for their community that is not represented. And it should be as easy as on the left side to just click and say, yeah, now this is my wiki-based instance. Um, and then create an ontology based on uh, fluid ontologies that can also be extended by the community and then also annotate um, existing web content to and include it this way into your instance. As I said, I hope I got that correctly. If not, please comment on that. Uh, another idea was called a bit in the end, uh, resonator on steroids. Uh, so the idea to say, bringing all projects together on one page. So at the moment, all of the different Wikimedia projects have their own pages and need to be edited in a certain way. And that's obviously difficult for, for newcomers and also people in, in different communities that they would just um, edit in one of the projects and so the idea is to have widgets as you can see here on that side uh, coming from the different projects um, so it could be images and maps also in videos so also the the kind of medium should be different how it is represented and then this way um, it's um, you have all the different ways to contribute on one page uh, which could also make it easier for others to represent their knowledge here. And then we had an, an idea or more a concept that said Let's wait before we jump into solutions and tools. We should understand um, non-Western knowledge better because currently uh, Wikidata has a lot of fact-oriented data, and um, maybe people need more practical data. So, so that the the way the, that the structure of the data that we have is also a problem. And so, before we are thinking about tools, we need to understand from the local communities what kind of knowledge has helped them in the past, and ask them how can we help you to 
transport your knowledge. And this way, from learning from that, um, then understand better how this knowledge can be included. Yeah, and I think that's, that's it already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Aya. So, as I was um, telling you earlier, um, if you want to uh, watch or re-watch re maybe uh, one of the sessions of the conference, everything that took place in Kleist, Kepler and Einstein uh, is or will be uh, very soon available um, on this uh, link that I will obviously share everywhere on all social networks that I uh, watch. And... Um, yeah, feel free to share it, of course, with other people. And I also wanted to mention that um, in the next uh, weeks and months, we will try to add uh, subtitles, first in English and then hopefully in other languages. And also, uh, we will make sure that, it's, that um, if you also want to contribute with translation, you will be able to uh, translate these subtitles to make the content of this conference uh, even more accessible to the outside world and um, to people who don't necessarily uh, are super comfortable with English. Now, documentation. Documentation, yeah, I know. Um, it's an effort uh, that um, everyone should make. Ideally, after the conference, it's going to be the moment where we're going to try to gather all the things. Um, what you can do to help is, um, if you're a speaker and you didn't add your slide on comments yet, um, please do so and also link them from the session, sessions page um, on Wiki. There is a category for that. Um, you can, of course, upload the pictures um, that you took on comments. Please mind, of course, the photo policy that we already presented. Uh, again, there is a category for that. And um, feel free also, um, when you come back home, to uh, write about um, your experience at the, um, at the conference and especially what you enjoyed or what, what were your own highlights of the conference. Um, and if you're writing, I don't know, reviews, blog posts, uh, scholarly articles, all kind of things, um, help us collecting them all. Um, so we have, a, we have a list of all the things. Um, I put the link here, but that's basically the page documentation that is uh, on, linked from the main page of the Wikidatacon um, on Wiki, so you can find it easily. And um, with all of this documentation collected, uh, don't forget to share it around you, and especially if you come back to a local Wikimedia community or to an organization or um, yeah, such group, um, yeah, tell, tell um, the others about what you did during the conference and um, share with them all this documentation that we prepared together. Now, another boring topic, but not that boring, actually. Um, on Monday, you will receive in your mailbox the um, satisfaction survey, post-conference survey, whatever. Um, if you don't, on Monday, then write to us because maybe something uh, went wrong, but we will make sure that we receive the link that is just for you. Um, it's not going to be too long to fill out, maybe 10 minutes of uh, intense focusing, not more. And um, it's not just, it's not just a, a random thing that we are never going to use. Uh, we are actually looking very carefully at what you write at, uh, on the survey. Um, it helps us to evaluate the conference, how it went. It helps us to um, understand better your needs. And of course, to uh, take all of this feedback to improve um, the next event and also to share with uh, the rest of the Wikimedia community and other communities organizing events um, on what are the good practices um, for events. So this is truly going to be um, useful. So please take 10 minutes to fill out the satisfaction survey. And if you also want to let a public comment, we have a page on, on the wiki for that. Uh, both are awesome, but I would say that probably the survey is more important. All right, now let's go to uh, the practical details about what's gonna happen tonight. Because as I said, the event is not over yet. So first of all, we're gonna have food. Um, so as you are used to now, we're going to have uh, dinner in uh, both on the ground floor in Anham Foyer and in the cafeteria um, until 8. And um, starting at 8, we're actually going to go outside of a new, take a bit of fresh air and go to um, a new uh, place that is called Alte Pumpe. Um, 
So before that, what's going to happen, the sessions room like this one and the two others are going to be closed. So please check that you don't forget uh, anything in the rooms. Um, the venue and also uh, the wardrobe will close um, maximum at 8.30. So again, make sure that you go and take all of your belongings. Um, don't forget, I don't know, electronic device, chargers, um, your luggage if you have one, uh, the beautiful wallet uh, that you got at the conference, your plushies, of course, don't. Um, all of these kind of things. Make sure that you have everything with you because after 8.30, um, it's not going to be possible to go back to the venue. So please double check. Um, at the registration desk, you will find the lost and found um, if you ever lost something or found something. Um, and it's going to be open until around 8. If you need uh, to print something, for example, a plane ticket or, um, I don't know, something um, important, um, you can have it printed by uh, sending the document at info at wikidatacon.org. Again, until 8. After that, we're going to be already quite busy uh, tearing down the venue, so um, yeah, please do that before 8. So, now about this um, goodbye gathering that we're having. First of all, very important, keep your badge if you're planning to attend, because you're going to need it in order to get inside a venue. Without badge, you cannot um, enter, so please keep it. However, if you have to leave before going to the Alte Pompe, um, you can let your badge at the um, registration desk. We try to collect the... We don't really care about the paper inside, but we collect the plastic and the lanyards uh, to reuse them, so uh, please let them here. And if you go to the event, you will also have a box to let them when you get out of the, um, of the event, um, when you leave for good, basically. So, um, the Alte Pumpe is really not far away. It's accessible uh, by walking, actually, uh, around 10 minutes. So we're going to have a first departure um, to there from here, starting down there um, next to the registration desk at 8. Um, we're going to have some uh, lights, so we're very visible, and you can follow us. And after that, you can also go a bit later, but keep in mind that at 8.30, we're going to close the venue, so we're going to push you out, basically. Um, and you can access here the route to um, Alte Pumpe. Um, it's on the um, travel page on the on the wiki. And um, so, just to show you very quickly, basically, when you go out of Urania, you walk, you take the right, you walk until after the big street, then on the right, and then, yeah, basically, it's um, quite straightforward. And when you arrive at Alte Pumpe, it should look like this. You're going to enter through this little area um, under trees, and then there is basically just one door. And we're going to be there for you at the entrance anyway. You're going to recognize us. So um, you, I hope that no one will get lost in the dark streets of Berlin. <laughs> so last thing, um, at the social event, you're going to get a few uh, coupons for alcoholic beverage. So it's going to be different coupons from the one from yesterday, it's not, it's not, it's not the same. Um, and you're going to get um, unlimited access to non-alcoholic beverage. Um, I can only encourage you to be, once again, responsible about your alcohol consumption, um, especially if you're not really used to that. Um, the event uh, is going to uh, run until um, 11 p.m. And um, after that, actually, the venue will stay uh, open um, and you will... You can continue the party if you want, but it's going to be, of course, at your own responsibility. All right. Now, if you're still not done with um, hanging around with um, Wikimedians, you can uh, attend to some of the side events that are going to take place tomorrow and on Monday. Sadly, um, I have to announce that the visit of Berlin with Wikimedian is cancelled because uh, Martin, who was supposed to organize it, is very, very sick, so he cannot uh, do it. However, if you want to, you can still do a spontaneous gathering and uh, just um, visit Berlin by yourself. I think that the original meeting point was here in front of Urania at 9. So if you want to do that or organize yourself to do something else, feel free to do so. Other than that, tomorrow there will be uh, the Wikibase workshop. So the goal of this workshop is for people who want to learn how to install their own uh, Wikibase instance. Um, it's going to take place during the whole day um, at uh, Wikimedia Germany's office that you um, possibly already know. 
Um, it's open to everyone. Uh, the condition is mostly that you are already kind of a bit familiar with installing a software or, uh, yeah, and that you have already an idea or even ideally uh, a data set that you can actually use to practice. It's going to be a practical workshop, so you're definitely going to do some stuff and need some data for it. Um, there will also be an iNaturalist workshop. Um, basically, it's going to be about um, both going outside and collecting data and pictures and then um, uploading them later on iNaturalist and data on Wikidata. So the meeting point is uh, at 9 tomorrow at Wikimedia uh, Germany's office. Hopefully the weather will be nice and you will also gather outside um, to contribute uh, about things related to plants. And if you're still there on Monday, we also have a um, night together with um, the Open Knowledge Foundation and especially the OK Labs that are some um, open data meetups that are happening every Monday evening um, at Wikimedia Germany. And um, they nicely offered to have the, the one from uh, Monday dedicated to Wikidata. So it's going to be a very nice gathering to meet people working on other open data or civic tech stuff, not necessarily on Wikidata. And I think it's going to be a great moment to maybe share some knowledge or tools that um, you or the other people don't know. Finally, reminder, we're going to change time tonight, during the night, actually. Uh, at 3 a.m. it's going to be 2 a.m. again. So the good news is actually that makes the night longer, so that makes your sleeping time longer. Uh, but please, if you want to attend one of these side events, or if you have a plane or train to catch, please, please make sure that uh, you know uh, what time it is. Your um, um, digital devices usually switch time by themselves if they are connected to the internet, but that can be a bit tricky, so uh, yeah, feel free to check. You can actually type on your favorite search engine, what time is it in Berlin, and you're going to get the answer, so I hope that works for you. All right, now let's go um, to the thank you round. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the organizations that have been uh, our partners um, or supporting um, the conference. Thank you so much. <coughs> thank you. Then I would like to thank uh, warmly um, all the people who uh, contributed uh, very intensively to the content of the event and to create um, both uh, the formal program and also all the self-organized sessions. So we had speakers, we had workshop runners, we had a lot of discussion facilitators, and yeah, in general, everyone who had gathering interesting content and meaningful discussions. Thank you. Now, I would love uh, all the volunteers and also the organization team, if you don't mind being uh, on the camera, to come a bit on the front of the stage because, come, start coming. Um, I would like to uh, thank a lot all the people who contributed to the success of this event. This event cannot be run without all kind of volunteers who are helping at every stage of the conference. So we have, for example, Room Angels who have been doing an amazing job. <laughs> Thanks to them, the sessions have been running exactly on time. The speakers had their slide, everything has been running smoothly. Uh, we also had people who supported with the streaming. Thank you very much. We had people who helped with logistics and it was very, very useful both at the registration desk to carry all kind of stuff. Um, so thank you for, uh, for your help. Um, we also uh, had a lot of people taking care of the documentation and as I said, it should be a task for everyone, but we had people especially who put a lot of efforts into gathering and taking notes and all kind of stuff. So uh, thank you for that as well. Um, <laughs> uh, 
And um, I would like to thank all the people who spontaneously um, jumped in into volunteer roles. It's been especially important because um, we've been having a few people uh, being sick or having various issues and we had a bit of stress in finding volunteers and it was pretty amazing to see all kind of people just saying, yeah, I can do it, or not even announcing it, but just actually coming and help. And this is really, really awesome. So thank you very much, all of you for that. <laughs> And of course, a warm thank you um, to the people who uh, made sure um, that the friendly space policy was enforced and who were available to take care of anyone um, having some issues. And thank you to uh, the people who've been working on the program and on the scholarship. It's been a lot of work ahead of the conference. Uh, so thank you very, very much for that. And um, yeah, thank you also to our um, official photographers and everyone who took uh, pictures during the event. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, thank you um, to the amazing uh, organization team. It's been a blast to organize stuff with you. Where are they? Here, awesome. Thank you so much, you're awesome. All right, do you have a picture of this beautiful gathering? Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Now, on the top of that, I would like to give um, some special thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the amazing uh, people who've been running uh, this uh, streaming service. Um, it's not the first time we've been working with them already uh, two years ago. It's um, the team from um, the Chaos Computer Club um, and the C3 VOC team, whatever they uh, pronounce that. And every time we work with them, the quality is absolutely amazing. The streaming works well, the sound is great, the, uh, the videos are like already online. How many events do you wait for months that the videos are online, right? And now they are already here. So please, a very warm thank you to the team. Thank you. I also wanted to uh, thank um, Julien, user Gitrixis, um, for the uh, mobile uh, app or mobile version that we had uh, for the program. I think it's really, really important that we have an, um, a mobile version of our program. And um, this tool is actually, it's, um, it's been already used um, for other Wikimedia events and um, its aim is to be used even more. So actually, if you're organizing um, an event, you can discuss with Julien about uh, using it. And especially if you think that you can contribute to the code, to the documentation, also to the translation of the things, because the app, as far as I remember, was uh, based in French and then it's been translated in, in English and so on. Um, feel free to uh, go to him and to offer uh, your help. It will be very appreciated. Thank you very much for that. And of course, thank you to all of you uh, for the very positive mood, for all the great discussions that we had, for your active participation to the event. That's another thing I like, is that almost all of you were 
actively involved in at least one little thing at the event, and I found it really, really great. And of course, for your future help with documentation. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now it's time for a few announcements. So, what's coming next? <laughs> what's coming next, next year, in 2020? So, in 2020, we're gonna celebrate the eighth, uh, the Wikidata's eighth birthday. Um, maybe you know, but uh, last year, um, we had this uh, Wikidata around the world thing where actually 36 um, or maybe even more, at least 36 on the list, um, groups of people around the world organize um, some, something uh, to celebrate the birthday. And um, I'm wondering, can we have even more in 2020? Can you maybe, if, you, uh, if nothing happened around you uh, last year, maybe you could start one with your community? So, here's the thing. In 2020, we're going to do this Wikidata uh, birthday around the world again. Uh, we would love to build something that is actually decentralized, that is happening everywhere, and that is all connected, and that especially allows everyone, including <clears throat> people who, from var for various reasons, cannot just fly to Berlin and attend to the Wikidata con. Um, we want to have that for everyone. So. Please um, start thinking about it right now if you want. Uh, talk to people around you, talk to your local chapter if you have one, talk to your community, talk maybe to your local partners, libraries, museum, everyone you're already uh, in contact with. And um, because there are plenty of things that you can do around Wikidata, it doesn't have to be a huge conference, not at all actually. Um, it can be just a meetup. Um, in a bar or in a library, um, it can be sharing cake, of course. We had awesome pictures of cakes last year and I'm already looking forward um, to all the pictures that we will have next year of delicious and beautiful cakes. Um, that could be introducing Wikidata to your local Wikipedia community or your colleagues if you're working somewhere uh, where they could be interested um, or just to um, the, the audience um, where you live. It can be a workshop, it can be an edit -on, so adding more uh, data uh, into Wikidata. It can even be, why not, a Wikibase install party, because Wikibase is the new thing, as you remember. Um, so basically, these are all the kind of things that you can do. And um, we can support you with uh, communication, and we will try to get all of this connected together under this banner of the Wikidata's eighth birthday. Um, now, a very quick note about money. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation uh, can also support you um, if you need it. Um, they have these grant processes that are uh, running, and the one that will be connected to the date of the Wikidata birthday, which is on um, October 29, just like every year, um, the grant run is actually going to start in February this year. So if you don't want to miss it, uh, start thinking about it, start um, gathering your ideas right now um, if you want to get some funding. Now, oh. what could happen in 2021? Very good question. So, I cannot tell a lot right now, but what I can tell you is that the Wikidatacon will be back in two years. Um, stay tuned, more information uh, will come. We have a maybe that date. It's not uh, really fixed yet, but that's already something that you can write in your calendar already for in two years uh, around the Wikidata birthday as usual. Stay tuned, more information will come on your regular channels. All right, thank you again, everyone. Um, enjoy the dinner, enjoy um, the goodbye evening tonight, and I hope that I can see all of you very soon. Thank you. <laughs>